So today's lesson, I want us to have a look at our learning intention today. I want us to look at it. It's using technology effectively to create something special. Now, you're going to do that by doing two things. Number one, showing all the skills that you've been using and explain everything. Everything we've done so far. So far. We're also going to make sure that when you make something today, when you make something today, it can't be just random silliness. It's got to make sense. And I'm going to show you what that means. So let's, let's have a look at what we're going to do today. We're going to look at explain everything. And last week, we looked at animation, didn't we? Last week, we looked at, let me create a new one. Last week, we looked at this tool here, the record tool. And we looked at how to animate something by doing the record tool. We're going to bring in one more skill today. So let me show you what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to build a little animation by using the shape tool. Have a look at the board. So I'm going to select shapes. I'm going to select the rectangle tool. And I'm going to draw a little platform. And I'm going to ro rotate it down so it's kind of like it's angling down. Does that make sense? Watch what I do now. I'm actually going to use my text tool. Watch this. I'm going to bring it right up to 50. 50 is as high as it goes. I'm going to press it once and I'm going to make a U shape. And I'm going to drag it over. Make the box nice and small like we talked about back in week one. I'm going to hit the ticky box, move it over, and I'm going to make it bigger. And I'm going to put it here. And this is what I'm going to build year three. You, you listen to this. This is going to be really cool. I'm going to have a little round object that rotates down, goes into the loop, and slings off. And I'm going to show skill. And I'm going to do it like it really would go in real life. So I'm going to bring in a picture now of a photo that I took. Watch this. Remember? New photo. And what I'm going to bring in today is something in my camera roll that I took. Which one of these pictures, point to it, do you think would roll down a little hill really well? Yes. The clock. The clock. I actually took a photo of this clock. Um, in the staff room. Do you think it's a great picture? I do. Look how clear it is. Look, is it blurry? I'm showing skill. Even with my photo taking, my camera, I want to start showing skill. I'm going to use the crop tool, my lasso tool, and this is the hardest bit. This is the hardest bit. Here I go. Pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to press done. And this is where I'd like you to make it the size that it's going to be in real life. Don't zoom in later on. I want you to make it the right size in the edit image. I'm going to press done and I'm going to move it to where it starts. It's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. Now, all of those things that I've shown you, we already know how to use. You guys are experts at this, but there's one tool I haven't shown you yet. Here it is. It's pressing the I, pressing the thing that I want, the clock, and it's this one here, guys. Set rotation. Watch what happens when I press that. I've got this tool and I've got this one. Don't press this one. This will muck up your whole thing. We only do this one, and I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to flip it. And it moves and rotates automatically. Do you know what? It's going too fast for me. I want to show skill. I'm going to slow it down. Here it is now. It's, do you think that's a better rotation? Yeah, I think that's great. Now, I've done the rotate. I'm going to use the record as well. Here I go. You ready? Press record. Move it. Down very skillfully. And then it's going to get a bit faster. And go off. Now I'm going to press stop. 
So now, you'll notice that it keeps rotating even when I press stop. Do you remember last week we looked at this tool, which is the edit? See how it goes there? We remember, I don't really want the narration for this, so I'm going to delete the narration and just leave the top bit. Now I want to play it. I want to see how it looks. You ready? Here we go. Play. So it goes down. It's looking good. Look how it sticks. It should speed up. And then off. Now, I want to show two things before you guys get started today. Two things I just want to make sure you understand. Number one is, I've shown skill. I've cropped carefully, thought about it, done all those things. And secondly, it makes sense. That could kind of happen in real life, year three. I had one student in the last group that actually had it rotating the other way. Now that wouldn't make sense because we know that it would probably go that right way. That's what I mean about context. It actually kind of makes sense. So I'm going to let you guys create something today showing two skills. This skill, set rotation, and the record skill. Now, year three, this is my idea, Mr. Hamilton's. I talked about this last week. I want you to come up with an original, creative idea that shows these skills in action.